Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Knitting for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this little cardigan sweater for baby girls between 12 and 18 months old. It's very easy to make, so I hope you like it. Now, you can also make it smaller or bigger, I'd say between six months and up to 24 months. So be sure to check out the information box below. There, I will leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching okay to begin I'll be using these four millimeter knitting needles and today I'm using this number four yarn this is the brand of yarn that I'm using it's called yarn B this is a medium number four yarn and the color here is soft pink now to begin we need to cast on 69 stitches so the first thing that I'm going to do to determine how much yarn I need for my long tail is I need to wrap my yarn like this 20 time um, to both needles. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have enough for 20 stitches here and we need 69. So double it up, that's enough for 40. Double it up again, that's enough for 60 and we're going to double it up again enough for 80. I'm going to leave it like this. I rather have a little bit left than not have enough. So now here, what we're going to do is we're going to make a, a loop, insert both needles through there and we're going to cast on 69 stitches using the long tail cast on. This here is coming from a long tail and this here is coming from the skein. So here, we're going to open the yarn like this, like a V, and then we're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. I'm just going to continue like this until I have 69 stitches on my needles. Continue and I'll meet you once we have our stitches cast on to show you the first row. Okay, I finished casting on my stitches. I have 69 and this is all the yarn that I had left over here. So what we're going to do is just tie a small knot here at the end. Okay, so now we're going to pull one of the needles gently like this carefully. And now what we're going to do is we are going to knit and purl beginning with the first stitch. I'm going to knit and I'm going to purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit and purl all the way to the end. And that's all I'm going to do for this first row. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Continue to the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. Now this last stitch here, I have to knit because this one here is a purl. So we're going to knit the last stitch. Now we're going to turn for the second row. Now in this row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purl the first stitch because I had to knit the last stitch in my last row. And then I'm going to knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit, purl, knit, purl. Continue like this to the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row, this last stitch here, I'm going to purl. Now we're going to turn for the third row. Here, what you're going to do for the third and fourth row is the same thing. Here, we need to knit the first stitch because the last stitch I purled, so you're just going to do the opposite. So knit the first stitch, and then you're going to purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. When you finish this row, you're going to turn and undo one more row. So I will meet you at the end of the fourth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This last stitch I have to purl. Now 
Now for this fifth row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip the first stitch and then I'm going to knit four. One, two, three, four. We're going to put a stitch marker. These are always going to be our border stitch. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to knit all of these stitches until we come to the last five stitches. There we're going to add a buttonhole at the end of this fifth row. So the stitches in between here we're always going to knit like this. Okay, so continue knit all of these stitches and I'll meet you right here five stitches before we finish to show you how we're going to make our first buttonhole. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have five stitches before I finish, but before I continue, I'm going to put a stitch marker here just to mark our border stitches here from here on. Now, I'm going to knit two, yarn over, knit two together, and then purl the last stitch. And here's our first buttonhole. Now, from here on, this is going to be the right side. This is the side that you're going to see because our buttonhole is going to be on the right side. Now, we're going to turn for row six, and here we are going to slip the first stitch. You're going to knit four, one. Now, this yarn over here, I'm going to knit through the back loop because I don't want this to be too big. There, perfect, and then knit two more. Okay, so we slipped one and then knit four past your stitch marker and you're going to purl across to the last five stitches where you are going to knit four and then purl the last stitch. Continue like this for this sixth row. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. Now we're going to pass our stitch marker and we have our last five stitches. We're going to knit, knit four, and then purl the last stitch. And here's the sixth row. Now we're going to turn and here we're going to begin our pattern. So let's see. I'm going to start counting rows because it's easier for me to tell you each one of these repeats consists of six rows. So I'm going to start counting for each repeat. These stitches here, remember, we always slip the first stitch, knit four. This never changes. We're always going to do this. Pass your stitch marker. Now what we're going to do into the next four stitches is the following to these four stitches. You're going to knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, then knit one and purl one. As we have knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl. And then we're going to repeat the same thing. Knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl one. Again, into the next four stitches. Knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl one. Again, into the next four. Knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl one. Again, one more time, four stitches. Knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl one. That's all you're going to do. Continue and I'll meet you seven stitches before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row to our first repeat. Now, Three stitches before our stitch marker, this is what we're going to do. We're going to knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one. Pass your stitch marker. 
and you're going to knit four. One, two, three, four, and then purl the last stitch. Now we're going to turn for the second row, slip the first stitch, knit four. One, two, three, four. Now pass your stitch marker and here you're going to purl five. One, two, three, four, five. Knit one, purl five. Knit one, purl five. Continue like this for this second row to our first repeat. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row to our first repeat. Now pass your stitch marker and here we're going to knit four, purl the last stitch. And here's the second row. Now turn, slip the first stitch, knit four, one, two, three, four. Pass your stitch marker. And here we're going to knit five. One, two, three, four, five. Purl one, knit five. That's all you're going to do for this third row. Knit five, and then purl one. You are starting to really see how the pattern goes because we are always going to purl this stitch here. Knit five. Purl one. Continue like this to the end of this third row. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. Pass your stitch marker. Knit four. One, two, three, four, purl the last stitch. And here's the third row. Now turn for the fourth row here. What we're going to do is we're going to slip the first stitch, knit four, one, two, three, four, pass your stitch marker. And here we're going to purl five, one, two, three, four, five, knit one, purl five. This row is the same thing as the second row. Purl five, and knit one. Continue to the end of this fourth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Pass your stitch marker and you're going to knit four. Now this part I'm not going to show you anymore because you know that we always knit four and then purl the last stitch for every row, no matter which side you're in. Now turn row five, slip the first stitch, knit four, Pass your stitch marker and you're going to knit five. Purl one. Knit five. Purl one. That's all you're going to do for this fifth row. When you finish this row, you're going to do your border stitches. You're going to knit four, purl one, turn, slip the first stitch, knit four, and then you're going to purl five, knit one, purl five, knit one. And that's all you're going to do to the end of the sixth row where you're going to finish with knit four, purl the last stitch. I'll meet you at the end of the sixth row. Okay, I finished my first repeat. We did a total of six rows. So now we're going to make another six rows for the second repeat. And this is how we're going to work the second repeat. 
we're going to slip the first stitch and then knit four. This part here is still the same. Pass your stitch marker. Now into these next six stitches, two, four, six, this is what we're going to do. We're going to knit two, one and two, then yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and then again knit two, and purl one. See, here's our purl row. Again, the next six stitches, two, four, six, this one's a purl right here. So you're going to knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, purl one. So you knit two, one and two, then yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and then again, knit two, and purl one. That's how you're going to continue. We have the next six stitches. You're going to knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, purl one. So let me show you again. You're going to knit two, one and two, then yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and then again, knit two and purl one. Knit two, one, two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, purl one. One more time. I want to make sure you all get this. It's very easy. Knitting is all about repeats. Okay, so knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two, purl one. Continue like this to the end, right about here to show you how we're going to finish this first row to our second repeat. I'm here at the end of this first row to our second repeat. This is where we do the yarn overs in this row, so I have five stitches here before the stitch marker. Here we're going to knit two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and knit two. And then pass your stitch marker and you're going to knit four and purl the last stitch. Here's the first row. Now turn for the second row, and this row is super easy because all you have to do now is look at, at your rows of purls. In this row you're going to knit and the stitches in between you're going to purl. Let me show you. Slip the first stitch, knit four, pass your stitch marker, and you're going to purl seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, knit one, and then again, purl seven. This stitch is super easy. It's got six rows that you have to repeat, but they're very easy. And then knit one. That's all you're going to do to the end of the second row. Purl seven, knit one, purl seven, knit, knit one, I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this second row to our second repeat. Now we're going to turn for row three. This row is very easy. Again, you're going to slip the first stitch, knit four, pass your stitch marker, and here you're going to knit seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, purl one, and then again, knit seven. This is how you're going to work your third row to the second repeat. Now, when you finish this row, let me finish this here. 
So knit seven, purl one. Now when you finish this row, here at the end you're going to always do the knit four and then purl the last, then you're going to turn, slip the first stitch, knit four, and then you're going to purl seven, knit one, purl seven, knit one. That's how you're going to work the fourth row. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row. Okay, I finished row three and four. I'm at the end of the fourth row of the second repeat. Now for rows five and six, which are the last two rows to this second repeat, we're going to do the same thing we did for rows three and four. You're going to slip the first stitch, knit four, pass your stitch marker, and you're going to knit seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, purl one, and then again you're going to knit seven, purl one, all the way to the end. When you finish this row, you're going to turn, slip the first stitch, knit four, and then you're going to purl seven, knit one, purl seven, knit one, all the way to the end of that sixth row. I'll meet you at the end of the sixth row to show you how we're going to work our third repeat. Okay, I finished row five and six of the second repeat, and that's what it looks like. Now we're going to make the third repeat. So here, again, slip the first stitch, knit four, and I think I'm going to make a buttonhole at the end of this row. Yes, because we did one here, and so we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 rows. So yes, it's about time we do a second buttonhole. So here I slipped one, knit four, pass your stitch marker, and here what we're going to do is we're going to knit three, one, two, three. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, purl one. That's how we're going to continue. Knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, purl one. This is how you're going to continue for this first row to our third repeat. You're going to knit three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, purl one. Remember these purl rows right here, they always remain the same. Continue and I'll meet you at the end right here to show you how we're going to make our second buttonhole. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row to our third repeat. This is where we do the yarn overs. Now, in this row, I'm going to make my second buttonhole. So pass your stitch marker. You're going to knit two, yarn over, knit two together, like this, and then purl one. And here's our second buttonhole. Now turn for the second row, slip the first stitch, knit one, and you're going to knit this stitch but you're going to knit this through the back loop like this and then knit two more and here's the second buttonhole from here on you're going to have to be careful now from here on you're going to add your buttons in the same way uh, with the same spacing i think i'm only going to do three so um i i'm only going to add one more button here now here we're going to pass our our stitch marker and we're going to purl nine in this row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, knit one, and then again, purl nine. This is how you're going to continue for this second row to our third repeat. You're just going to purl nine and knit one. That's all you're going to do. Continue to the end of this second row. 
Okay, I finished the second row to our third repeat. So now for the third and fifth row, you're going to slip the first stitch, knit four. This part is always the same. Slip the first stitch, knit four, and then you're going to pass your stitch marker and you're going to knit nine and purl one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, purl one. And then again, you're going to knit nine, purl one, knit nine, purl one, all the way to the end of this third row. And you're going to do the same thing for the fifth row. Now for rows four and six, you are going to turn. And this part here is the same. You slip the first stitch, knit four, and then you're going to pass your stitch marker and you're going to purl nine, knit one. Purl nine, knit one. That's how you're going to work these next four rows for the third repeat. I'll meet you at the end of the sixth row. Okay, I just finished rows three and four, five and six, and I completed the third repeat. Now, you should have a total of 18 rows so far from here. We have 18 rows. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 rows. And I counted my stitches. If I counted correctly, I have 159 stitches um, up to this last row that I did, which is the third repeat. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do one more repeat. I'm going to add six more rows here, and we're going to do the following here. You're going to slip the first stitch, knit four, pass your stitch marker, and here we're going to knit four, one, two, three, four, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit four, one, two, three, four, and then purl one. Again, this is how you're going to work this row. You're going to knit four, one, two, three, four, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit four, and purl one. This is how you're going to continue for this first row to our fourth repeat. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row to our fourth repeat. This is where we do the yarn overs now. I'm here at the end, I'm just going to pass my stitch marker here and I'm going to knit four, and purl one. And here's the first row to the fourth repeat. Now for the second row, you're going to slip the first stitch, knit four, one, two, three, Four, pass your stitch marker and here you're going to now purl let's see two four six eight ten eleven we're going to purl eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then you're going to knit one, and then again repeat purl 11. Continue like this for this second row where you just purl 11, knit one. Purl 11, knit one, all the way to the end. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. Okay, I finished the second row to the fourth repeat. Now what you're going to do for rows three and five is you're going to slip the first stitch, knit four, pass your stitch marker, and then you're going to knit 11, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then purl one. And then again, you're going to repeat knit eleven, purl one knit 11, purl one, all the way to the end of this third row and the fifth row. Now, once you finish the row, you're going to turn, and for rows four and six, you're going to slip the first stitch, knit four, and then you're going to purl 11, knit one, purl 11, knit one. That's how you're going to work these four rows. Continue, and I will we'll meet you once we complete this fourth repeat to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished rows three, four, five, and six of the fourth repeat. Now, this completes this part. The yoke is done. I have a total of 189 stitches for this last row that I did, and it's measuring from the top of the neckline down to the last row. It's measuring about 12 centimeters, which is about 4.75 inches. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide the sleeves, and here I have placed my stitch markers. So we have 189 stitches. So for the front panels, I'm going to have 28 and 28. For the sleeves, I'm going to have 38 and 38. And for the back side, I'm going to have 57. So with that, we're going to now divide the sleeves here. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit these 28 stitches, except for the first one where I'm going to slip. So we're going to knit. That's two, three, four, five, remove your stitch marker and then knit until we come to the stitch marker. So that's six, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then this stitch here, I'm going to knit. That's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Now I'm going to remove this stitch marker here. This is going to be the front panel and I'm going to put these 38 stitches to my needle here with the yarn. I'm going to do the sleeves last. So I'm just going to remove these stitches here and put them on hold. So here we're going to remove 38 stitches. Okay, here's the last stitch. Now we're going to keep these here on hold. So we're going to continue here with the rest of the sweater. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to add two stitches here. So we're going to twist like this. That's one, twist again, and that's two. We're just going to add two stitches here. And now we're just going to continue and work our stitches in the same way, like this, around the back. Continue and I will meet you here at this other side to show you how we're going to divide the other sleeve. Okay, I finished these 57 stitches and the purl stitches in between I also knit. I'm not going to continue with the same pattern, but if you want to, you can just easily just continue in the same way. But here for the rest of the sweater, I'm just going to continue with um, knit one row and then purl the next. Now we're going to remove this stitch marker here for the other sleeve. And again, we're going to remove these stitches
So here's the last stitch. Now I'm going to put this stitch marker here on this side so that when I do the sleeve, I know that I need to start on this side and I'm going to go this way. I like to do this because I have done the mistake before where I start my sleeves on the wrong side and then it's just a big mess to fix it, at least for me. So that prevents that. So there, just do the same thing on the other side. So here we're going to now add two stitches to this side in the same way. There, two. Now we're just going to continue for this side here and finish here at the end. Here at the end, we're going to have to add our third buttonhole. So I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to add that buttonhole. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. We're going to start counting rows here. This is where we divided the sleeves. Now here at the end, we have our last five stitches. So knit four, actually knit two because we're going to do the buttonhole. So knit two and then yarn over, knit two together and then purl. Now from here on, we already know every um, so many stitches we're going to be adding uh, our buttonholes. Here I've been adding mine every 12th row, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So you can do the same thing. I'm going to continue in the same way uh, for the rest of the sweater. So now for the second row, we're going to turn. Oh, before we continue, you should have a total of 117 stitches in this first row. We'd have, we have 28 and 28 for each one of the front panels, and then we have 57 for the back, and then we added two extra stitches under each sleeve. So that's a total of 117 stitches for the first row. Now for this second row, slip the first stitch, knit one, and then knit this yarn over through the back loop like this. And then knit one more. Now we're going to purl across like this on this row. So when you're on the wrong side, you're going to purl. When you're on the right side, you're going to knit from here on, except for the um, these stitches here along the side you're going to always knit and in the right side as well. So I'm going to show you here what we need to do once we get to the uh, two stitches we did under the sleeve. I tried this part with six stitches and it didn't work out. So um, I had to undo this part here. Um, six stitches was too many. We didn't need that many, so I only added two so here are the two extra stitches so you just purl them and then continue for the back side purling till you come to the other sleeve where you're going to do the same thing so continue for this second row and i'll meet you here at the end okay i finished this second row now we're going to turn for the third row and for the rest of the sweater these are the two rows that you're going to do you're going to knit when you're on the right side and then you're going to purl when you're on the wrong side. And then these stitches here along the edge are always the same no matter what side you're on. You always knit four and purl the last. So here to start you off for the rest of the sweater, you're going to slip the first stitch, knit across to the last four and then purl the last stitch. This is all I'm going to do. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do. The only thing that you need to do from here on is to add the buttonholes every 12 rows. So far we have done three. So you need to continue in that same way, adding your buttonholes. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows we're going to do and all we're going to do is knit for the right side and then purl for the wrong side. And then again, the stitches here along the edge always remain the same no matter what side you're in. Okay, so continue watching and I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm here at the end of row 74. I've counted rows from here, from this uh, first row that we did where we started this part. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 
14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74 rows. And I have a total of seven buttonholes so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In this row, I just finished my last buttonhole. So now what I'm going to do for the next couple of rows is I'm going to knit for every row uh, to create the bottom of the little sweater here. You can finish this here also in this way so that it's a little bit more snug around the waist if you prefer it that way. But I'm just going to knit for, I don't know, maybe six or eight rows uh, on the right side and on the wrong side. So we're going to continue with the garter stitch here. So to do this, all you're going to do is instead of purling on this side, you're going to also knit. So you're going to slip the first stitch, then knit all of these stitches. The buttonhole I'm going to knit through the back loop and then knit. So from here on for a couple more rows, all we're going to do is knit, which is going to finish here. I'm not going to add any more buttonholes, but I'm going to do these rows here at the bottom. So um, continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do here for the bottom of this baby sweater. Um, and you'll see there exactly how many rows I'm going to do just like this. So all I'm doing is knit for every row. Continue watching and I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making the bottom part. I did a total of eight rows, two, four, six, eight. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to close in this last row so we're going to bind off our stitches so here we're going to slip the first stitch knit the next and then pass the first over the last stitch that you knit again knit one bring the first stitch over the stitch knit one bring the stitch over knit one bring the stitch over and so on this is how we're going to finish this part here and then we're going to move on to make the um, sleeves of this little sweater. Now, I think this bottom part here is a tiny bit long, but it's okay. If you want to make it shorter, you can. I'm going to leave it like this. I just think the baby's going to be able to wear it a little bit longer. That's why I did it a tiny bit longer. It's not much, maybe a centimeter or two longer, but it's okay. So continue doing this until we finish at the end and then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to make the sleeves to this knit baby sweater. Okay, I finished this part. This is what it looks like. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do one of the sleeves. I already did one of the sleeves here. I did the right side. So I'm going to show you how to do the left side, but you're going to do it in the exact same way. So here, remember we left a stitch marker and the stitch marker is right here. So we're going to start and pick up our stitches right here. So we have a total of 38 stitches and that's the number of stitches that we're going to use to make our sleeve. We're not going to increase or anything. This is what it's going to look like. Look how pretty it looks. So here to do this, we're going to, first I'm going to remove the stitch marker here. I'm going to I'm not going to remove this yet, but what I'm going to do here is I have my yarn and with a crochet hook, we're going to go right here to the very side, actually right here. So just pull a loop like this and we're going to tie a knot here like this. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to pick up all of these stitches and the way that I like to do this is in the following way, look. We have the first stitch here. Oh, to do this, we're going to use the same needles. I was just about to do this with the other one. Okay, so with the four millimeter kneading needles, we're going to do this. So with the four millimeter kneading needles, we're going to pick up all of these stitches here, like this, so like this, and then grab a loop. If it's easier to just go around and pick up one stitch at a time without grabbing a loop here, then you can do that as well. I'm just going to grab a loop here every time I pick up one of the stitches 
and I'm just going to do this. See, like this. So this here takes a little bit of patience because we're picking up our stitches here that have been here with this yarn. So with lots of patience, you just go one stitch at a time and then just grab a loop like this, like this, see? And then go into the next and do the same thing. That's all I'm going to do here for this first row. We're just going to pick up all of our stitches that we left here waiting. When you do the other sleeve, you're going to do the exact same thing, except that you're going to start from the back towards the front. Okay, don't forget that. So here I'm just going to continue and pick up all of these stitches. You should be left with 38. So I'll come back and show you what we need to do next after I finish this part. Okay, I have all of my stitches here on my needle. So I have um, some stitches on this needle and then some stitches on this one here because right now it's kind of hard to work all of the stitches into one needle. So we're going to kind of sort of work this uh, with the magic loop, but just for a couple of rows after that, you can just work this in rows without any problem. So you can remove your yarn here. Uh, you just pull it off, I'll do that later. So here we're going to pull the needles here in front, this needle here. And here we're going to go back and purl. So remember, you should have 38 stitches. So we're going to purl this stitch. Then we're going to purl across like this. So this is the last one here. Now we're going to go here to the side, push this needle, and now you're going to pull this one here, and then continue and just purl to the last stitch. And this is all we're going to do for this um, second row. Make sure you pull in that stitch so that it's not loose and then continue and finish here at the end. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. Okay, I'm here at the end. This is the last stitch you're going to also purl. Now we're going to turn for the third row. Um, if I were you, I would keep this um, yarn here just so that you can count from here on the number of rows that I'm going to do using these needles because eventually we're going to switch to smaller needles to do the rest of the sleeve like I did here. I did a total of 25 rows so from here up to about here um, using the four millimeter kneading needles and then I switched from about here to the end um, or up just to about here. I did a total of 18 rows and then I finish with eight rows here for the cuff. So eventually we are going to switch to the smaller needles, but for now we're going to continue with these four millimeter kneading needles. So all you're going to do from here on is you're going to slip this first stitch like this and then you're going to knit across. The last stitch you are going to also knit and then you're going to turn and then slip the first stitch just like I have done here. This is going to create a nice edge so that when we seam this part here of the sleeve, it's nice and almost seamless. As you can see, this is where I seamed mine and you can barely see it. So that's what I'm going to show you. So here, just work a couple more rows like this and then you're going to be able to work this part here in rows without having to switch needles like I'm having to right now. So pull this needle and then continue and knit. Make sure that you pull on that stitch right there so that there's no gap. I'm going to finish this row and then I'm going to show you what I mean here at the end. Okay, so here's the last stitch you're also going to knit 
see like that through the center and then you're going to turn this like this and to begin this row on the wrong side we're going to purl so slip the first stitch and pull that stitch so that this stitch here is not too big and then purl the next stitch until you come to the last stitch where you are also going to purl the last stitch and then you're going to turn for the next row you're going to be on the right side so you're going to slip the first stitch and knit across and so on you're just going to continue like this uh, for about 25 rows I'm going to come back and show you what we need to do after we finish doing this part here okay I did a total of 25 rows from here up to here there's 25 rows so now let me measure it for you so that you know how much it's measuring so far let's see it's measuring about 10 centimeters which is about four inches so now from here on we are going to continue for a total of 18 rows with a 3.5 millimeter uh, needle so that here at the end it kind of sort of looks like this so this is what you're going to do so all you're going to do is just continue from here on and I would recommend putting a stitch marker here so that you know um, to start counting from here so that's you slip the first stitch and then you just continue and knit all this row and then turn slip the first stitch and then purl across that's all we're going to do so put a stitch marker here and then continue for a total of 18 rows and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what we're going to do uh, to finish the sleeve here we're going to do the cuff so continue with your little sweater and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished making the sleeve. It's measuring from here up to here. It's measuring about 16 centimeters, which is about 6.25 inches. So I did a total of 18 rows using the 3.5 millimeter kneading needle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the cuff here, this part here, and we're going to do about eight rows. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. So to do this, all we're going to do here is you're going to slip the first stitch, slip the first stitch, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Now, if you want to make the sleeve a bit longer, you can. Um, I uh, left it as it is for the size that I'm making. I didn't make it too long or anything, but now I'm overthinking about just maybe I should have done a couple more rows. So if you want to do maybe a couple more rows, you can even fold the cuff like this so that the baby can wear it a bit longer. Um, unfortunately, I already cut my yarn and I don't want to undo the whole sleeve to do this. So if I were you, I would go ahead and add maybe um, four more rows to this part here to make it a tiny bit longer. So here we're just going to continue with the purl one, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, and purl, knit to the end here. So I'm going to show you this part. All you do is purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. So purl, and then the last stitch, knit. Now turn, slip the first stitch, and then we're going to knit, and then purl. Knit, purl. This is all I'm going to do all the way to the other end. So I'm going to fast forward this part.
Okay, here's the last stitch. The last stitch we are going to purl. So here, when you're on the wrong side, you're going to have two purl stitches. Turn, slip the first stitch, and then knit one, purl one. This is all we're going to do, so continue until we have about eight rows. So this would be row three, one, two, three. Continue, and I'll meet you at the end of the eighth row. Okay, I finished my eight rows. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cast off our stitches here. So we're going to slip the first stitch, knit the next, and then bring the first stitch over the second. Now the next one we're going to purl, bring the first stitch over the second stitch. Next one, knit, and bring the stitch over like this. Next one, purl, and bring this stitch over. This is all we're going to do, and then we're going to go ahead and close the sleeve here. So continue, and I'll meet you once this part here is done. Okay, I'm here at the end. I have my last two stitches, so I'm going to put this last one here, and I'm going to knit both of them like this. Now, we're going to cut our yarn. Make sure you leave a pretty long tail, about that much enough so that we can seam this part here. So we're going to now pass our yarn through this last loop right here, like this. Perfect, and now we're going to close the sleeve here. We can remove this, we don't need it anymore, so I'm going to remove it, just pull it, and we're going to close this part on the right side. I'm going to remove the stitch marker here, and now we're going to use one of these needles here, and we're going to go on this side and through the first stitch Then go through the last one, this one. And then go through the first one again. Like this. Perfect. That's what it looks like. Now, we're going to go row by row. Make sure that each row corresponds with the other side. So. Right along the very edge, we have these stitches. Make sure that it's the very edge. See right there. And we have it on both sides. So we're going to go here to this side and then go like this. Here. And then find the corresponding row here on this side. Like this. And then find the next row like this. And the next one here. And so on. This is how we're going to close this part here. Now you're going to have to do this with lots of patience because you want to make sure that all your hard work here pace off once you finish here. And you don't want to have a messy seam here because then all of your hard work's not gonna be worth it. So you're just going to go in and out, in and out. And I'm going to do a little bit more here so that I can show you what it looks like. Okay, so here, this is what it looks like so far. That's all you're going to do. Once you pull this, this should close and look like this. So continue and then I'm going to show you how we're going to close this part here under the sleeve. 
Okay, I finished closing this part and that's what it looks like. So now what we're going to do here under the sleeve is there is no right or wrong way doing this part here. Um, we just want to make sure that this gap here is nicely closed. So the way that I like to do it is I like to put both sides like this. Let me bring this sleeve here on the inside so that you can see. So we have our sleeve. This is where we seamed. So right about the center, we're going to do this like this. This is where we added the extra stitches right here under the sleeve. So I'm going to go right across like this just to reinforce the stitch here, the last one that I did. And then I'm going to go right through the very center right here. That should be okay. So right there, and then go back through like this again, and then one more time like this. Now, look and see how it looks. If that looks okay to you, then leave it like that. To me, it looks fine. Maybe this stitch here is a tiny bit big. So let me see if I go, it's on this other side. So this side here looks okay. And then we're going to go here on this other side and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go through like this. And then go back and look. Yep, that looks pretty good. And all we're going to do here is just reinforce these last two stitches here. I'm going to tie a little knot here. Let me look again. Yes, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to cut my yarn here. This is the yarn that was left when we started the sleeve, so I'm just going to tie a knot like that. And then just hide your ends here under the sleeve and the sleeve is done. Let me show it to you. And here's the finished sleeve and this is the bottom. That looks pretty good. There it is. Now let me measure it for you. Give you a final measurement here for the sleeve right from under the sleeve up to the end it's about uh, let me see it's about 20 centimeters this is about 20 centimeters which is about eight inches now like i said if you want to make yours a little bit longer go ahead and do it for the size that i'm making this is just right but I like my sleeves a tiny bit longer and I should have done that with this one, but I didn't want to undo everything. It should be okay. So here's the finished little sweater. Now what I'm going to do next is going to be optional. As it is, the sweater is done, okay? Um, but what I'm going to do here is with a crochet hook and some yarn like this. This is baby yarn number three in this off-white color. I am going to go around um, and kind of sort of fix this here a tiny bit. Um, so make a loop here. Oh, I have one ready. Insert your hook right here. This is where we finished when we did the bottom part. So you're going to grab a loop here like this. And we are going to chain three. This is a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and this yarn here is baby yarn number three or you can also use DK weight yarn. Now we have the stitches here along the side so I'm going to skip one and into the next I'm going to go in and make a slip stitch. Then again chain three, skip one and into the next make a slip stitch chain three, skip one and into the next, a slip stitch. This is how I'm going to do this part here. Just continue like this for this side. Three chains, skip one and into the next, make a slip stitch. 
that's what I'm going to do here. So continue and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the top of the neckline. Now here I was going to do slip stitches, but I'm just going to continue with the same thing. So chain three and into this next row right here, make a slip stitch, chain three, skip this row in the middle and then into this row, make a slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch, chain three and slip stitch this is how i'm going to do this part here and then you're going to continue along the other side right here and do the same thing we did here on this side now continue and i'll meet you here at this other end okay i finished this side here now we're going to continue in the same way here for the bottom so all you're going to do is chain three skip one and into the next insert your hook right there and make a slip stitch chain three skip one and into the next a slip stitch chain three skip one and into the next a slip stitch this is how we're going to continue so i'll meet you at the other end okay i'm here at this other end i just joined to the beginning now i'm just going to pass my yarn through this last loop and all i have to do is just hide my ends and this is what it looks like here at the bottom and here along the sides and the neckline i think it's absolutely beautiful now i also went ahead and did this sleeve just to see how it looked and i actually like it so i'm going to do it here on this other side so i'm going to show you how we're going to do it so just make a loop it's going to be done in the same way um, as we did here for the neckline so just go right here into this very first stitch here or just pick a spot this is where i finished that's why I'm saying this is the first stitch here. So grab a loop and chain three. One, two, three, and then just go into the next right here. This, this here is the knit row and then in between are the purl rows. So I'm just going into the knit rows here along the very edge right on top like this and that's all I'm going to do all around the cuff so continue finish this part here hide your end and then I'm going to come back and show you the finished sweater okay I went ahead and finished this other side here I just joined to the beginning and I'm just going to pull this yarn through and then I'm just going to hide my ends so this sleeve here is done and that's what it looks like now here's the other one and the baby sweater is all done look how beautiful this is this is what it looks like here from the bottom and let me show you the back here there it is and here's the bottom now if i had to redo this little sweater i think it's a tiny bit long um not my much maybe i would do maybe five rows less um, right about here so that um, it's not too long here but regardless i think it's beautiful you can change the length there if you like uh, but it's all done now let me give you the finished measurements from the top of the neckline down to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 31 centimeters, which is about 12.25 inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 18.5 centimeters, which is about 7.25 inches. From the top of the neckline down to the end of this last row here, it's measuring about 34.5 centimeters, which is about 13.5 inches and the waist just on top it's measuring about 27 centimeters which is about 10.5 inches and this part here right across it's measuring about 13 inches which is about 5.25 inches so based on these measurements this little sweater here is for baby girls between 12 and 18 months old now i also went ahead and added three buttons here i only had three i need to go get some more but um i'll go ahead and do that after and i'll show you the picture um, at the end so, uh, these are the buttons that i used uh let's see i got these from hobby lobby uh they are five eighth of an inch or 16 centimeter i think that's what it says i can't read this number it's so little i think it says five eighth um, or 16 millimeter buttons okay so this little sweater is all done i hope you liked this tutorial thank you so much for watching until next time